Hi, I'm Dave Bunce, Product Specialist at ISM. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your new ISM seat. It's important to note the unique design of the ISM seat intended to help remove pressure off your perineum or soft tissue. Our seats typically require a conditioning period so your muscles can adapt to this new pressure point. So stick with it and don't get discouraged. First we are going to set the proper seat height. Once you've installed your seat and hopped on your bike, it's important to note how your hips and feet feel. A clear indicator that your seat is too high is the up and down rocking of your hips as your feet are reaching for the pedals. Another indication is the pointing of your toes at the bottom of the pedal stroke. Simply lower your seat height to correct this. There are also a couple of signs indicating your seat is too low. This can be noted by your heel dropping below your pedal at the bottom of the stroke or excessive bend in your knees. Another indicator is muscle fatigue in your quadriceps. If you notice any of these, simply raise your seat height to correct. Now some of you may have tried to take the seat height measurement from your traditional saddle or have this information from a professional bike fit. This is a great starting point, but you still may find yourself needing to lower your saddle a bit. ISM seats have a higher profile than traditional saddles because they are designed to put the pressure where it belongs, on the sit bones and pubic rami bones. For this reason, it's very common to have to lower your seat 5 millimeters if you experience discomfort on your sit bones or chafing on your inner thighs. A simple lowering might be all you need. Next, you want to look at the seat fore aft, or front to back position. ISM seats have eliminated the front 2 to 3 inches of nose, so it should hit about the midpoint of your thigh. If you have coordinates from a professional bike fit, the front of your ISM seat should be 2 to 3 inches or 5 to 8 centimeters further to the rear. Another way to look at this is you should have 2 to 3 finger widths of seat showing behind your body when properly seated. This adjustment does not move your body back, but rather removes the uncomfortable saddle nose from under your soft tissue. If the seat is too far back on the seat post, you may find yourself reaching for the bars, or feel like there isn't enough seat under you supporting your body weight. If this is the case, simply loosen the bolts and move the seat forward. If the seat is too far forward, you will feel bunched up or may find the seat too wide at the front arms. Simply move the seat back. If the front of the seat feels too wide, it's either too far forward, too high, or both. The final adjustment is the seat tilt. This step is very important and always subjective based on the rider. When installing your new ISM seat, Level the front arms parallel to the ground. This is a great starting point and may be exactly where you want the seat. Some riders may choose to tilt the front of the seat down one to maybe two degrees. The key is to not tilt the seat too low to the point that you feel like you're sliding off the front of the saddle or you're putting a lot of pressure on your hands or wrists. Because of the unique design of the ISM seat, extreme downward tilt is not necessary. Everybody has a sweet spot. So don't be afraid to bring an Allen wrench with you and adjust it out on the road. Again, please keep in mind the design of the ISM seat is to remove pressure off the perineum or soft tissue. There is a muscle conditioning period for most riders, so don't become discouraged. And always give your muscles adequate rest between rides, especially in the beginning. If you are still experiencing any issues with fitting your seat, feel free to contact us anytime. We hope you enjoy your new ISM seat, and remember, comfort counts.